Well, when the public protector announced that an ethics complaint had been laid against the president, it didn't mention the name of the complainant, only that it was a member of parliament. All signs pointed to suspended SCOPA member Mervyn Dirks. Dirks lost an argument court bid, an urgent court bid on Tuesday to be allowed back onto the committee. The meeting was set to discuss claims that the president failed to disclose the possible use of public funds for ANC campaigning. Well, Mervyn Dirks' lawyer, Godrich Gadi, is on the line to clear the air. Godrich, thank you very much for joining us again. Can you confirm that it was indeed your client, Mervyn Dirks, who submitted the complaint to the public protector? Uh, firstly, good morning to you, Anna, and uh, our viewers. It is our instruction at Gadi Godrich Attenis to confirm that uh, our client is the complainant to the public protector. That complaint was lodged in the day. It had actually been lodged earlier than that, but for some reason it could not uh, uh, reach through the, the, the public protector. However, on Wednesday it was actually able to go through the email to the public protector. Take us through the process. We know that the public protector has, uh, I think, 30 days in which to compile a report. Does Mervyn Dirks have any uh, witnesses? Does he have any paper trail that could possibly implicate the president? Well, uh, it is our instruction from our client that um, it, the audio leak was... Uh, in terms of proceedings of the National Executive Committee of the ANC some years ago, and uh, listening to the audio leak, you can hear the president referring to uh, Comrade Tony Ngeni. And obviously, maybe the public protector would like to speak to Mr. Tony Ngeni why the president was uh, referring to him in that audio leak. And they would not know what would be the processes of the public protector uh, moving forward now that he has got the, the, the complaint. But uh, naturally, who will expect that um, the president will have to confirm if that is actually his voice and the date of uh, his utterance and who were in that meeting. And the whole 90 or 100 members of the NEC may have to provide a sworn affidavit as to that uh, utterance of the public protector. And, and, and it does appear that it was a Zoom meeting so it will uh, be proper for the Secretary General or the Secretariat or the Office of the Secretary General to provide the recordings of the Zoom meeting and not only the minutes, but the real uh, uh, record in terms of uh, 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 the Zoom recording. Yes, Godric, I was going to ask you about that because I was wondering whether the recording, to your knowledge, had indeed been verified as legitimate because uh, when audiovisual material or uh, audio recordings are submitted in court, they usually need to be substantiated by the person who took the recording to make sure that they are indeed of the person and haven't been tampered with in some way. We believe that the, 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 the public protector will put that question to the president and the president will either deny or, or, or confirm uh, uh, that it is actually his voice and he was actually in the meeting and he did uh, uh, truly say so those words. And uh, at least the name of uh, Comrade Tony Ngeni uh, is mentioned there. He too will have to be called upon to explain himself at least we've got two people whom the, the, the public protector will have to speak to at least the uh, soonest than the rest. As an attorney, you will have uh, discussions with other parties in terms of, especially in this case, the public protector, for time frames and guidelines in which your client will be interviewed. Do you have any of those timelines for us? Uh, when Mr. Dirks will be interviewed by the public protector? When the president will be interviewed by uh, Busisiwe Mkwebane? Well, uh, it is our instruction from our clients that uh, he is yet to get a correspondence from the public protector in terms of uh, the timelines, the program, and the nature of engagement, uh, time and venue of uh, the engagement with the pro public protector. As and when we are made, uh, uh, we are made aware and our client instructs us otherwise, we'll definitely make it available to the public.
Last question, Mr. Gardi. Does your client, Mervyn Dirk, remains, Dirks, remain suspended? And if so, are there any appeal mechanisms that he intends to make use of in order to be reinstated as an MP? Our client is a member of parliament. Our client is purportedly uh, uh, suspended as a member of SCOPA. We have written a letter to the to the lawyers of the the, 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 the the African National Congress and the Chief Whip. We have given them five days within which to reply and inform our client as to whether they still persist with the irregular and unlawful suspension, for which uh, his removal from SCOPA becomes a, a, a fruit of a poison tree. And uh, we, is, we still uh, proceed with Part B. It is our instruction that we proceed with the uh, a normal review of the decision of the... All right, Godric, we've lost your audio. All right. Uh, thank you very much to uh, attorney there, Godric Gadi, attorney for Mervyn Dirk.